Welcome student. Let's learn about patterns and functions. Let's first of all look at the definition of function. What function means? Look at this diagram. Suppose that this box or this machine is a function and we put a value into it. Now, this function is going to give some output. So let's say that y is the output over here. So we can say that function is just like a machine in which we give some source input. It processes the input and provides us with some output. There are certain rules to define the change in input into output. Over here you can see in this figure x is the input and y is the output. Now let's define what are functional table. Functional tables look like this. Over here you can see there are two columns x and y. x represents the input value while y represents the output value. Now if x is 2, y is simply 4. When x is 3, y is 6. Similarly, when x is 4, y is 8. And when x is 5, y is 10. You can see that each time the value of x is getting twice. So we will say that the rule which defines this functional table is y equals to 2 times of x. That is y equals to 2x. Now let's see an example where we need to define the rule for this functional machines. Now in this functional machine when input is 3, output is 5. When input is 4, output is 6. And when input is 7, output is 9. We know that input is 3, output is 5, which is 2 more than the input value. When input is 4, output is 6, which is again 2 more than the input value. Similarly, when input is 7, output is 9, which is again 2 more than the input value. So we will say that the rule which defines this function machine is simply adding 2 to the input value to get the output value. That is y equals to x plus 2. Where x and y are the input and output values. Now let's try this question together. In this question we need to find the equation which we can use to explain the following input and output machine. These are the following input and output machines. Over here when input is 8, output is simply 1. When input is 15, output is simply 8. When input is 20, output is simply 13. Here x and y represents input and output values respectively. To find the equation, first of all we will convert this input and output machine in the form of a table. We will find that this table contains two columns, x and y, where x is the input values and y is the corresponding output values. On analyzing the table, we find that each time the value of x gets reduced by 7. So we will say that functional equation which defines this input-output machine is simply x minus 7 equals to y, where x is the input values and y is the output values.
Now let's look at this question. It says that the temperature of a boiling flask is 40 degrees Celsius. It rises 2 degrees Celsius in every 5 minutes. Now what will be the temperature of a boiling flask after 20 minutes? Over here we know that the initial temperature is 40 degrees Celsius. And after every 5 minutes it rises by 2 degrees Celsius. So now using this information, let's make a functional table for this. Now over here, the input value will be the minutes passed and output value will be temperature in degrees Celsius. When 5 minutes are passed, the temperature will be 42 degrees Celsius, which is 2 more than 40 degrees Celsius. Now when 10 minutes are passed, the temperature will be 44 degrees Celsius. When 15 minutes are passed, temperature will be 46 degrees Celsius. Similarly, when 20 minutes are passed, temperature will again rise by 2 degrees Celsius from 46 degrees Celsius to 48 degrees Celsius. So that means after 20 minutes passed, temperature will be 48 degrees Celsius for the boiling. Now let's try this question together. It says at middle school, 6th grader spends 8 hours every week for doing homework, while 7th grader spend 9 hours and 8th grader spend 10 hours. Now what is the functional table between the student's grade and the amount of time they spend? For this, we will consider that the student grade represents the input value while the R they spend in a week doing homework as output values. And we will make a table for this. Now, we know that a 6th grader student spends 8 hours every week for doing homework, while 7th graders spend 9 hours, 8th graders spend 10 hours. On analyzing the table, we find that each time we are increasing the input value by 2 so as to get the output value. So that means the relation between the input and the output value will be simply x plus 2 equals to y where input that is x is simply the student's grade and output that is y is simply the time taken. So this brings us to the end of this topic. Hope you have learnt a lot. Goodbye and see you in next session.